Hi, I prepared a short video for uh, our frontline healthcare workers uh, regarding COVID-19. Uh, we had a death of a nurse at our safety net hospital yesterday and uh, understandably there's a lot of anxiety uh, among health providers, especially frontline uh, providers. And I wanted to just say, give you a short video that would hopefully uh, help you cope with what's coming over the next uh, few weeks to months. Uh, COVID-19 is in our community right now. It's uh, too late to flatten the curve for us. Uh, I think we're on track to see 50,000, maybe 100,000 deaths in our country. But that doesn't mean that we can't do something. Uh, I don't claim any ownership of what I'm about to tell you. It's based on what doctors in Wuhan, Italy, Germany, and most recently uh, New York, uh, David Price just had a, a video just about this. I'm trying to summarize it for you in maybe five to 10 minutes because I want to make sure you listen to it. Half of us are going to get coronavirus uh, and, and for most of us it's going to have, it's going to be just common cold type symptoms like a fever, cough, body aches, short, sore throat. We're going to feel like shit for five to seven days and we'll start feeling better by day seven. But for 10% um, they will get shorter breath and they will need to go to the hospital. And of those, one to 3% will need a ventilator. The, ma the vast majority of the ones that go on a ventilator will come off the ventilator seven to 10 days later. But we're still gonna have deaths. Um, and I just wanna talk to you about what I'm sure is in the back of your mind, which is how do you protect your family if you're a healthcare worker? So in order to help with that, let's start with, well, how do you get uh, COVID-19 and how, you, how can you uh, prevent from getting it? The only way to get COVID-19 is by sustained contact with somebody who has this disease, with symptoms of fever and ache, or someone who's about to get this disease in the next one or two days and, uh, and maybe asymptomatic. The way that you get transmission of this virus is almost exclusively from your hands to your face, either into your eyes, into your nose, or into your mouth. Let me repeat that one more time. The overwhelming majority of people who get this disease get it by physically touching someone who has this disease, who has symptoms of fever and aches, or someone who's about to get the disease in the next one to three days. So these are practical tips. Know where your hands are and know that they're clean at all times. Walk around with hand sanitizer. When you touch doorknobs or elevator buttons, always Purell after you touch it. If you keep your hands clean, you're not going to get this disease. You have to start, maybe psychologically, working on the connection between your hands and your face. Most of us are terrible at this, and we're constantly touching our face without even realizing. You touch your forehead, you scratch your nose. The virus takes advantage of this. Someone at a party has it, they shake your hand, and then you touch your face. That's how the virus gets it. Practical things that you can do. One is, to be aware of when you start touching your face. Or you could wear a mask to, to condition you. So that the idea is that the mask is not gonna prevent you from getting the disease uh, from aerosol, because that's not how you're gonna get this disease. But it's, make, it's gonna make you conscious that, um, that uh, of where they are not touching your face. When you leave your house, maybe you should wear a mask. If you do those two things combined, you will prevent transmission of this disease to your family in 99% of cases. To know where your hands are clean all the time and not to touch your face. Now, let's talk about medical masks. Everybody's into these uh, uh, N95 masks and they're in short supply. You don't need a medical mask. In the hospital, you should only wear an N95 mask if you're in a room with a COVID-19 patient doing something that is going to make that patient cough or aerosolize secretions, such as intubating the patient, suctioning the patient, or doing a bronchoscopy. Otherwise, only a simple surgical mask is recommended. If you follow these steps, there will be zero, zero transmission. Healthcare providers who are getting sick are healthcare providers in the front lines who are having extensive contact with COVID-19 patients and not protecting themselves. For the most part, it's general practitioners who didn't know someone had the disease and they did a nasal swab. ER doctors who didn't know what level of protection they needed. 
if you wear the proper protection when you interact with these patients, your chances are zero to get sick. So let's summarize. Always know where your hands are. When you leave just be your house, become aware. When you touch something outside of your home environment, when you go to the grocery store, if you're going to touch the cart, just clean the handle. If you, go to, if you go in the store and you see people, don't touch them. Don't shake their hand. Don't give them a high five. Distance yourself. When you go to the pharmacy, you don't really need to be right next to the person in front of you. Give yourself three to six feet. Don't be scared of your neighbor. Just maintain your distance. Everybody's going through the same thing. The only way you're going to get this disease, and I'll say it one more time, is if your hands are dirty and you touch your face. One last suggestion before I close. Shrink your social circle. You should not have more than three or four people that you constantly interact with at home. Every person that you interact with has potentially two or three other contacts who have two or three other contracts. So you need to set boundaries at home to make sure that you don't go beyond your immediate family, three or four people. This is not a good time to visit your uncle, to go visit grandpa, or to go visit your neighbors. This is a good time to limit your boundaries, set your boundaries. The people that, that are gonna get this are people that maintain large social circles. You can always talk via FaceTime, let's get used to that, that's our new reality, uh, and, and you'll avoid getting this disease. You can still go to the store, because as long as you wash your hands and you don't touch your face, you're not gonna get this disease. So please remember, keep your hands clean, Purell after you touch any surface. Don't touch your face. Don't come within three feet of people. Don't touch people. Don't high five them. High five them. You can say hello and smile. We're only this together. It's a tough time for all of us, but it's gonna be like this for months. So let's just stop this virus. You can go to the park. You can ride a bike. Just don't high five anybody. Just maintain your hands clean and don't touch your face. Thank you, I hope this is helpful.